Clyde from Sherman Oaks, California. Hi, Clyde. Hey, hi, Leo. How are you doing? I am great. How are you? Okay. Just a little nervous about uh, what you were talking about earlier uh, today about the, the uh, cars being hacked and uh, where the you know cars are losing control or a car can lose control like Chrysler's or Jeeps. Right. And I'm now I have a new automobile. Okay, well that by new I mean I just bought it a few months ago. It's a 2014 Toyota. And I wonder, I, I'm trying to figure out if, if uh, my car would lose control as, uh, as a result of being hacked. In that, you know, I have a telephone that uh, I use with uh, my Toyota. My no, that's fine because the phone only has a USB connection into the Toyota. That's not sufficient. The hack on the Jeep uh, involved using the 3G access that was built into the entertainment unit of the Jeep. Built in. My my Audi has the same thing. It has a T-Mobile connection. Uh, if you have OnStar, a General Motors car, OnStar uses a cell. So not to say that those are vulnerable, but that was the first step, was some way that a hacker, even across the world, could, you, could get to your car via the Internet. And that's what they did. They actually were able to... Uh, hack that Jeep via the internet using a, a Sprint mobile connection built into the uh, entertainment system. The real flaw, and I'm sure the flaw Fiat Chrysler's fixing and the flaw that is in a lot of systems, is that the entertainment unit and the computer running the car, the braking, the ignition, all of that stuff, are not physically separated. Uh, they are connected in many cars, and this was, a, I think, a cost saving by a uh, something called a CAN bus, which is think of it as an internal car network. So that means if you can find a vulnerability in the multimedia s uh, stuff, you might be able to cross that software only barrier into the car's electronics, and that's the risk because then you can do things like you know, turn off the brakes. We saw this before. I think, was it uh, 2020 or 60 Minutes? I think it was 60 Minutes. Um, uh, was it Diane Sawyer was in a car and they turned off the brakes? Same thing. Now, that one was a physical hack. That meant the bad guys had to actually get access to your car to jack into the media system. This new one is more scary because they didn't need to get physical access to the car. They only needed to find the car on the Internet and then using flaws in the software, hack it. Those flaws are patchable, but there's this kind of fundamental problem that in every case, you know, the electronic system, whether it's on a plane that's flying the plane or a car that's driving the car, should not be connected, physically in any way connected, to the entertainment system. Car manufacturers are going to have to address that. But as you know, a new car takes years to design. We probably won't see those fixes for a while. And for a long time, the car manufacturers have said, no, don't worry. We, you know, you, there's no way to get from the entertainment system to the car's uh, electronics. Well, there is. Um, and so uh, we can't rely on that anymore. Not something to panic about. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. something to worry about. Uh, car manufacturer, this is good news because car manufacturers now will pay attention to this and fix it. The bad news is uh, if this I exists but no one knows about it. Now the other thing is somebody has to target you, and it's it's uh, unless you're are you are you messing with the CIA, Clyde? Have you been a, have you been a whistleblower at the NSA? Uh -huh. Aaron Brockovich, that she should worry. You know the rest of us uh -huh. probably aren't going to get somebody hacking into our system. It's not. It's a non-trivial thing to do. It's just that it's an issue that w that manufacturers have to pay better attention. But we're learning that everywhere. People haven't paid much attention to security. But now there's a very active group of hackers who are looking for flaws in this stuff, and they're finding them. Right. Well, I'm thinking, you know, you, terrorists, you know, could come over here. And, I mean, it'd be a good way for ISA, whatever these guys are call themselves, you know. To, yeah, but uh, they don't want just an individual. I'll tell you what I would worry about. The security of our, electro our uh, electrical grid, for instance. Uh, mm -hmm. If there's cyber terrorism, it will happen on a much larger scale. And uh, we know there are vulnerabilities. In fact, uh, we've seen that in many of the computer systems that run the electrical grid, uh, there are security flaws, and some of them even have malware on them. And that's a cause for real concern. Imagine what chaos would ensue if the electrical grid in the United States was shut down by a terrorist remotely. 
far yeah, worse than having you drive off the road. <laughs> right? So they're not going after yeah, you. I mean, they're not going after you. And to, our, to my knowledge, there's no hack that would affect every car on the road. You have to do it onesie twosie still. Um, but it's something to be paying attention to. And I'm very glad that Fiat Chrysler did that recall. 1.4 million cars are being recalled back to the manufacturer so they can fix this flaw. Yeah, that's what I hear. That's what I heard. Yeah. 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 I just wasn't sure if, well, now that you told me that it's not controlled by the Internet, I just wasn't sure. I have, of course, an Internet. Uh, but uh, Not just I, from pairing your, your, your cell phone to the car. You're fine. At least okay. to, so far. <laughs> I, I shouldn't make any promises. These guys are ingenious. The, the guy uh, who did this uh, is well known. He's, a, he's what we call a white hat hacker. He's not doing it uh, to make money or to, 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 to bug people. He is uh, a guy who goes around looking for flaws, and he's made a lot of money finding bugs and telling companies about them. Uh, well, and, it's good that he did that. You know, you know absolutely. What I mean? you know, yeah. I'm just worried that uh, the bad guys, you know, the real bad guys who are who, you know, don't like America are trying to take over uh, America. Yeah, well, you know, there's lots of things they could do. There's probably things that are easier for them to do than that. I would think so. Yeah. I, I would think most so. I think that mm -hmm. most of the um, uh, kind of terrorist type attacks are state sponsored. And uh, in other words, we know that the China, for instance, has a fairly large uh, division in its military of hackers. And that they are actively looking to hack American companies, trying to get information for economic reasons. Right, right. So right. Th these skills are very high-level skills. It's not going to be the, the kid in Bulgaria who's figured out a way to drive you off the road. There's no incentive for him to do that. But state-sponsored right. hacking is something we should probably be very concerned about. Mm -hmm. Well, I really appreciate uh, that information because I was wondering what. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Remember in Battlestar Galactica, the the, the 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 new version, Commander Adama had the old old uh, starship, the Galactica, and and he was adamant. He says, "No, we're not going to ever connect this to the public internet or whatever it was in the." future whatever they call that we're going to have they had old phones that were wired they didn't have wireless phones and everybody mocked him in fact they were going to mothball galactica because it was just so out of date and then the cylons <laughs> hacked everybody else they couldn't get galactica because it wasn't on the grid the problem is we're putting everything on the grid now including your thermostat uh medical gear uh everything is on the internet and that's risky. When your car is on the internet, you see the, you see what happens. Charlie Miller said to himself, hmm, I wonder if I could find that car, find its IP address, hack it. And he did by remote control. That is scary. Somebody in the chat room says, well, that's no problem. You just buy a 57 Chevy, you'll be safe. That's the Battlestar Galactica of cars. <laughs>